I think the answer is both, don't you? Well, it was yeah, instant it and it's gotten sweeter and deeper and fabulous and da 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 as time has gone on. That's my yeah, all my point. bad habits drinking out of plastic bottles. Oh. Um, yeah, I think that uh, on, on a certain level, Mary Beth and I connected instantly. And and that's never gone away. It's just it was just this innate connection. We were just meant to be together and 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 you know love each other and it's just it was just natural yeah and then um the growth part was you know we've had we've known each other for like 30 some gosh darn years i mean and what are the odds that you would work with that person for that long like this well, and, like and that we our story in a marriage with ups and downs and back and around and all that that's like you know i would i wouldn't say that our stories are real life stories but that concept is real but a long friendship like ours is is very much like a marriage. There are ups and downs and you learn more and more about each other and some things you don't like and other things you do like and, and it creates tension sometimes. And I'm, we're fights. gonna talk later privately. A few fights. But no, we're yeah. gonna talk right now because we have more questions that we'll dive okay, deeper into this. About that, dive yes. deep, a yes. deep, deep dive, uh-oh. <laughs> I think we work very similarly. I mean, well, to some degree, we both we both give it our all. I would, but the, you know, the funniest thing is he, when I when he when we weren't working together, you know, Stephen keeps me on my toes as, as far as like the English language and pronunciation and grammar and like we'll be running something. He'll go and you know I'm kind of half on um, half half looked at it and my mem my I'm remembering it not exactly as it's written and he'll be looking at the script going. No, that's not that's not even proper English or something like that. So he keeps me on my toes uh, on, on the book, but also we have never been afraid to you know when we're doing something to say you know if you could actually give it to me kind of like that that would sort of help me to do that or but you know generally we kind of shoot from the hip and so much of it is memorizing memorizing and then coming together and going over it and over it and finding our rhythm. And then you do all that homework and you do all that. And then when you get out on the set, you have to just trust each other to explore. And we do, we, I swear, sometimes we just look in each other's eyes and it's become something more, it just becomes more real and not all that homework. And you just have to be a little more spontaneous and just follow the path. It's about, I think, being present in that moment. Did I cover it, Stephen? <laughs> Good job. Did add anything to that? Well, Mary Beth is one of the only people uh, that I've worked with who I can totally be myself around. Hmm. And that's important because the key for me is relaxation. Yeah, because you also can't really remember anything if you're not relaxed. Like I, if I go for an audition, I cannot remember the six lines or something, or maybe it's a one line. No, I don't know however many lines it is for an audition. But, um, and, the, and the reason is because I'm nervous. And when on this show, I can memorize 30 pages and it may be all a scramble and crazy and whatever, but then when I get to the scene and I just focus on that one scene and I relax because I'm not nervous, yeah. it, it will could just kind of flow out. It'll just be there. I can find it. Yeah, I remember some acting teacher once saying, if you're not nervous, you don't care. And you don't care if, you, if you're, you know. If, well, there's if, different kinds of nervous. Yeah. yeah there's different kinds. But. <laughs> we've had a couple in our relationship but it usually was about uh there was one contract thing once there was there's been more it's more of those kind of things like a business end of something that we have had fights about but not 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 like a i can't think of one of us personally really Can i you? think there was one time where you called me out for speaking to you in, in a manner that you did not like mm -hmm. remember that yeah. That was a pretty. That was a pretty big one. That was a heavy one. Yeah. And you were right, and uh, being bossy. I, I had to cop to it. But you were sulking for. I remember it. It, it was like days, and I, you know, I finally had to get you to talk to me, and you told me, and I thought, ooh, that that was. Well, bad. you know, like you know what, this is truth. Actually, I I have heard this. When you have been like a married couple in a relationship for a long time, you oddly get into roles. 
and you play roles and you don't even know it and you don't even know, but you interact with each other in that way. And yeah. that's kind of what happened, I think. And we, we got a chance to break that habit. That's and you it. take you take each other for granted too, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. But we got it straight now. Communication's the key, and I tell my kids that all the time. Communication. Yeah. Uh, I think I mean with Stephen. I mean I have certainly observed. I don't think. I, I mean I don't know if I would have been different, but I've certainly observed him being this loving, sweet grandfather and grandparent, and very attentive and open-minded and. Uh, all that, and I think that has influenced me. Sweet. Well, the the number one thing I've learned from Mary Beth is not to take things too seriously. And I always you tell people you struggle with that. Work. I tell people. I say Mary Beth keeps me sane because she makes me laugh. She doesn't take it all so seriously. And I mean, I'm I'm always so grateful that I've had a partner like you. Because yeah, you, he, he, Stephen can get a little more spun I, down into too much. Too, too I don't like to think that deep. Too dark. And, and yeah, too dark. You it up all the time. I'm light. Yeah. yeah, helps me a lot. Yeah. Thank you, Mary Beth. Thank you, honey. I, I have the answer for that one. I, bing, bing. Um, when uh, I had my first baby, he came to my house afterwards, after we came home, and uh, he had a bit of a cold, and he put on a doctor mask, and he sat on the floor. Yes. He did. I was way ahead of our time. Way ahead of your time. And you sat on the floor, Indian style, holding this little baby, like his head out in front, like this, and rocking him, and just looking, saying how beautiful he was, and how sweet. And, and then in my second pregnancy, actually, I had placenta previa, and I was at work, he drove me to the doctor. Do you remember this, Stephen? He drove me to the doctor and really looked out for me and everything. So I'd say, you know, those things were very, very sweet. There's been many more, but those two really stick out in my mind. Well, you know, whenever I've had a kind of, well, if I've had some problem in my family with my children or whatnot, I can talk to Mary Beth. And she's always got good advice for me. She listens. And, you know, and she's always been there for me that way. I, I can tell her anything. Um, and the other, oh, I remember one time, it was very early uh, when we were on the show, I think maybe a couple years in, and I was trying to quit smoking. <clears throat> and Mary Beth. He coughs on cue. Me, drove me to this hypnotist. <laughs> Remember? I don't remember that. Yeah, you drove me way out. It was out in bumfuck, who knows where. Oh, I, I can't say. Oh, we can, you know, cut that. So far anyway, away. It was you drove a, me so far away. It was way far away. She drove me all the way on our lunch hour to get me to quit smoking. You know, I, remember that. I don't remember that. And I swear to God, I remember after, that. after the lunch break, we were first up on the set and something happened. And I hadn't had a cigarette now for a couple hours. And I, Really, I was such an addict. And uh, something happened on set. I don't know. We were first seen up, and Al Raven said something. I just, just went off. I just went off, as you do when you're trying to quit smoking and, you know, you're irritable. And Mary Beth was there to calm me down and, you know, make everything okay. And so, you know, you kind of saved me that day. But I, I did. I, I, you you told me to have a cigarette. Get a cigarette right now. Go get a cigarette. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I, I need to go to Al Anon. Uh, you know what I, what I do remember though, back in those days, back in those days, we used to be there all day long and he was like smoking in the dressing room and we would go get coffees and like peanut M&Ms and he'd smoke his cigarettes and have coffee and we'd eat, eat peanut M&Ms. I mean, times have changed. Times have changed. <laughs> Gosh, I think I was so much younger than I don't a lot of people younger. have seen quite a bit of it. Actually, it, it was. I mean, I did share it with people. You know, one little tidbit I'll throw out of that. I don't know if you remember this, Stephen, but so we, you know, Stephen, we're going around the house and uh, the ones that I was working on. But we were at my house, and I had the tiniest little Toby mug, the tiniest little face, this beautiful little face. And I, in in this thing, I show him like this is my favorite little thing. And um, it's here in the, my glasses cupboard. And 
when my grandson Henry was here at Christmas time, Michael's showing him different things and he opens a cupboard and they're looking at things. And he, he was in a very throwing stage right then. He like picked it up, looked at it and threw it to the ground. I'm like, and I remembered from that show, like my, my favorite thing, you know, now I have just the half, like, like a Phantom of the Opera. I have just half a face of it. And it leans on my uh, kitchen window. Oh, was, good break. Oh. Good break. Yeah, that's it. That's all I remember. But anyway, I think it's been too long to show that show. I'm, we're, we're, I'm so much older. Uh, no, I do like the MB's awesome. cooking, though. Mary Best Kitchen is cool. And they said, uh, we're going to make more. So whenever we get back, we're going to make some more of those. And then you have to come cook. What are you going to make for me? What, what specialty do you have? Um, I can make a curry or I can make turkey chili. Uh, mm. I've never been a curry lover, but maybe you can make me something I would like. Ooh. Yeah, I can make you a curry you'd like. Okay. All right, we're gonna have you. We're gonna have you on MB's kitchen making a curry. Okay. Yeah. Oh, probably from that first audition, probably. I mean, from the first time we met. I mean, we were connected. I think. Don't you think? Well, yeah. I mean, you don't really know until you see. Uh, you meet fans out in the you know out in the world. You go to a thing and you see how people react to the two of us together. Hmm. I think that was the first time going to a fan event and seeing how- Well, yeah, when you know how it's landing. I mean, I know how it's- Yeah, and then, and then the magazines and the people talk about it. I had no idea how, how big it was in the 80s. I really didn't. It, it took you know, I remember time. winning, the, they used to have this daytime TV magazine and we used to always win like, you know, best actor or all these things year after year. And I, I remember staying there for the photograph, hold the plaque thinking like I gotta really appreciate this moment because I you know it's just a glip in time but we were so busy and I mean I was having these little kids and we were working like six to six every day and but um I think we definitely knew it was working but personally I always felt it worked yeah I always felt connected to you and I worked with a lot of other people and I you rarely feel it you know in those you days rarely have that. we worked all day long on the scenes I mean you know we really we worked it and we and we got it to the point where we thought, yeah, this is this is cooking. You know, we had the time to do that. Now it's a whole different ballgame. Yeah. Yeah. We 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 you know what we should do, Stephen? Let's answer. I will answer for you, and you answer for me. I will say okay. the things that I like about your character, and 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 I can say this because also um, we were on General Hospital together, where you were this other character who. I think Patch, the thing that's always been so cool about him, he's like a tough guy, but he's got this so sensitive side, the cries at the drop of a hat or so into his family or so. So that's what's so nice about your Patch, that he, he's got bravado, but he is super marshmallowy underneath it all. So uh, that's that would be what I would say. Okay. So about your character, about about Kayla? What do you like the mo What do I like most about Kayla? Yeah, just go with that because I don't have any dislikes about yours either. So, Kayla, I just I can't separate Kayla from Mary Beth. I'll tell you what Mary Beth doesn't like about <clears throat> playing Kayla. All the doctor speak. I, you know, that was the first thing I thought of. I was thinking my answer was going to be the same. I mean. I love being the doctor and the chief of staff. I love that whole thing. I think it's so great. But the one thing I also don't like is Dr. Lingo. And if there's ever like a orderly or somebody pushing a gurney with me, I always am trying to give them the dialogue. And I just say, room three. And I also That's like that Kayla surprises people because she is this sweet, loving person. And But when, when push comes to shove, you don't mess with her. And I'm like that in real life. She has those scenes where she's, you know, you know, calling somebody out, calling somebody out on the carpet, it is it is strong. It is Thanks, yeah. it's fierce, and I love that. I think it's good. I'm getting better at it. I don't mm -hmm. think I was so good at it before, but yeah. in my real life too, I you know it takes a lot to get me. But then when you get me, I will I will bark. But it takes a, yeah, really it takes it a while. It takes people chipping at me for a while. You know, you, I, for the longest time, you didn't like to play anything angry. Right. Yeah. I didn't. Yeah. So I didn't want people not to like me. But now I'm. You, you know, got better at it. I gotten better. I gotten way better at it. Yeah. And the other thing is, you're always good. You're in the moment, and you're always, always good. I never see a false moment from you. I swear to God. If I had an agent, I'd say call my agent, but I don't have one. Okay. Next question. 
I'll call my agent. Hey, you know what, Mary Beth? <laughs> I'm not so, I'm not so, uh, I was gonna say, she's so good. I'm not, I'm not so good, but I'm good. <laughs> um, what does that mean? I don't know. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't have as many dresses as she has. She's only, she's a totally into dresses. I don't have as many fit and flare dresses. Thank you, Richard Bloor. He's the best. Oh, he always makes me look good. Yeah. Um, I have a very, soft spot you and do. an affinity for children you do so does patch you do always loves and but protects but, children but to the, the thing of. is you brought that to the character i was probably never written but you brought that well none of that was written in the beginning right that's what i'm saying so you, you brought a lot of stuff up yeah it was great oh maybe I don't remember what happened. Do I know? do. I'll tell you, I'll call you later. But no, yeah, I'll tell you guys. It's good. It, you know, the story actually ends up being really good. The, at the, the way they, you know, sort of, I won't say wrap it up, but the way that they, it evolves. The way they evolve, it, it's good. Yeah. I don't think I would have necessarily written it uh, differently. It was nice. But yeah, I'm not a writer, a I'm not a writer either, so I don't know. No, it's been, it's been good. It was, it was tough at first to accepting and, getting into this whole idea of you being with another man and all. it was, it was tough, you know, but patch wasn't patch. So it was, it was easier because I, I was, and you know, I, he, I really <laughs> felt like in the very beginning when they said I was going to be with Justin, I thought, Oh my God, I can't do that because I'm only betrothed to Steve and I've got to do that my whole life. That's my thing. But then when it was, you know, you did these dastardly things, even though you weren't yourself, but you know, a person would kind of have to finally for their own self-esteem say enough is enough. And she did that. And he was a, a solid good guy. And he is a good guy. And that everybody puts the hashtag adios dimples. I feel bad for him because he is the sweetest guy. We both love, we both love. Yeah, we both love him and we both love working with him. And it, greatest was, guy. it was a great uh, trio. I think the three but of us. But he said from day one, he goes, I don't know. I don't know how much chance I have yeah. here, but we won't that's, say what happens. Anybody would say that. Yeah. yeah. But he's right. so it's, a tough, it's a tough hill to climb. He's such but a I think he did a great job. He did a really good job. And I love him to pieces. Yeah. So do I, Waldo. Yeah. I love you, Waldo, if you're watching. We should, we should get him on here one of these days. We will. We'll get him on one day. We should get the okay. three of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, they used to choreograph. When Shelly Curtis was a producer on the show in the 80s, and when Al was there, and even, even on GH, you know, uh, when we worked there, the love scenes were choreographed. We kind of made it up, but they, but the directors would actually come in with a plan. You're going to do this. We're going to shoot the hand, and the hand goes up the leg, and I think, yeah. you know. And now nothing, none of that happens. And well, the one thing that they so always, fast. the one that they, the thing that they do do, they have done, and they still do, is they'll say, uh, "Kiss left," so that it's. Whoever maybe the story is focused on, the camera is catching your eyes there. Or if you hug someone, you kind of have to get your head up and towards the camera. That's about as far as the choreo They used to light them very specifically and beautifully for the love scenes. Uh, I, the other day you sent a clip from, you know, on Instagram and I looked at it and I thought, gee, they really let us kiss. I mean, we were kissing oh, for a good, like minute or minute and a half. It, just it, might been, it might have been a viewer's co a compilation. I don't know. No, no, no. It was it was one straight ahead, man. Just kissing, kissing, kissing. You guys wonder why I like right him. We had this connection. Huh? Like, he's a good kisser. Yeah, it was, it was good. Good he's kisser. A good kisser. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question. We're going to blush. Oh, filter. Uh, red out. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, I, I can answer that in several different ways. As the character, I definitely wanted the patch back, right? Yeah. I, I kind of enjoyed having the two eyes there for a while as Stefano and not having to deal with the thing all the time. It's kind of a hassle. And then do the hair under the thing and oh my God. So to come out there, get the hair done, get the makeup and I'm ready. And I just walk out, I don't have to fool around. I don't have to put the patch up to look at my script and put it back down when the cameras roll. Yeah, 
But as the character, there's no patch without the patch. It's it's got to stay. Thank you. <laughs> I just get so in the weeds, don't I? <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> people ask us, like, what makes each other laugh or whatever, you can see nothing. We just think something <laughs> funny. Yeah. Doesn't okay. matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Each other. Who else? Nobody else. Try to get. The we don't need anybody else. To get the kids to come with us. Get our son out of jail because Jeepers jails are like COVID uh, hot spots. Poor Joey. Poor Joey's probably got some serious issues there in prison. We gotta get him out of prison. Oh, I always want to get him out. Of prison. Yeah, yeah. He's he's a he's a different he's a person. Hot spot. Now. Yeah. I just read the other day that there are people in a California jail that, where they have them on videotape where they're trying to get it from other people so they can get out of there. Mm -hmm.